Today we are going to continue with tutorial 6 on our Spring Boots course in 2019. So it's a beginner to expert tutorial. And now I've actually opened my website where I have all this procedure we are going to follow because as you know when I make a lesson, a video, I put all the procedure also in my website. So that is www.kindsandthegenius.com slash spring boot. So you can see all the procedures that we are going to follow. So in case you miss something, we can always find it here. So what we are going to do today is to build a REST API or rather start building a REST API in Spring Boot. So this is going to be very easy because I try to break down my courses to make it very easy for you to follow. This is Spring Boot that is open right now. So go ahead to open Spring Boot and that is what you can see right here so i'll also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that you motivate me to keep making this lesson so just click on the subscribe button below to sub subscribe so today we are going to look at the api we are going to build we are going to create the users class create the location class to and create the post class so we are going to build an api for social network platform let's call it social api okay this is like a mini Facebook, although it's small, it is the same principle that social networks follow. Our social API will contain lists of users, lists of locations, and lists of posts. Also, the following relationship will be supported. A user has a location. Each location could have one or more users. And a user could create a post. Hence, each user can have or one or more posts so basically this is how social network work, works here so you have different user profile every time they will be able to create posts so a user can have many posts and that relationship is called one to many one user to many posts then we have one one user or uh, when it comes to user and location you have one location can have many users as you can see so that may be many to, to one as that is location to user many many users one location right many users one location many to one all right also our social api will support add delete and update the user details add delete and update uh, location details add delete and update post details get a list of users or locations get user by id and get a list of posts for a particular user so all these we are going to do it uh we are going to start now so I'm going to expand this so that you can see uh, the uh, relationship diagram between what we've done. So these tables, I created them, but you are not going to worry about creating this. So this is a diagram that shows. So this symbol here means many, and this key means one. So you have, for locations, you have many users, one location. For posts, you have many posts to one user. All right, so let's get back to continue. So step one create the users class so now i'm going to create a brand new spring framework project so you can easily follow so that this is not starting from the previous one this is a brand new uh, uh, tutorial so you can you can all actually follow if you are just joining this tutorial now so just say new spring startup project and just uh, give it a name social api okay that is fine so you can also change the group ID or you can use the one I'm using. So go ahead to click on next. Meanwhile, let's just check. Okay, we have Java, we have Java, we have Maven. I would like to choose eight for Java version. Okay, so, and then we can go next. So here is going to be a web API. So just select web and then go ahead to click on next and then click on finish. So at this point, uh, Maven is going to set up our project with the right dependencies. And now if we expand this, you can see that we have our project set up. So go ahead to open SRC main Java, open the, this, the package, and then you can see social application. So this is the initial setup. But we are going to actually start by creating another package that will contain the user class so go ahead to click on this place on SRM main java and then say new and then this time we are just going to create a package we are going to call this package user right all right 
so the procedure is here you can follow it so click on finish so now inside this package just right click on it and just create a new class and this class you are going to call it uh, user as well <coughs> now instead of typing out <coughs> the content of this class I can simply just copy it out from here and just paste it in there so let's see control V so this is what our class is going to look like so a user have an ID first name last name it has a location and also an email now location is showing us an error because we have not created the location class so now to to generate the getters and setters we're going to right click and just go to source and just go to generate getters and setters and just select everything and just say generate so location is having uh, error because we've not created it once we create it then it will be okay so go ahead to save and that is fine we are done with users class the next thing we want to create is a post class so let's create the package first so just right click and just create a new package and call it post new package we are going to call it post so this package we are going to place the post class inside so inside this package right click on it and just say new and choose class and I'm going to call it post and just say finish again I would like to just copy the content of this class and just put it right inside there okay again you can see user is giving us an error the reason is because we actually have not imported it into this class so just right click I'll just put your mouse there and just go to import user so don't use import user on the uh, org.apache.catalina or org.apache.com.tomcat or any other one just use the first one import user and that is it's going to import the user we created previously so this user here is actually user taken from this package all right so again you can see we remember to generate the getter and setter for this class so just make some space and just right click and go to source and just go to generate getters and setters and just select everything and just say generate at this point we've completed creating our post class and the next thing we want to do is to create the locations class so we'll go ahead to save this and then the next one is the locations class so right click and just say new right click in the right place just say new we create a new package new package and we call it location it's, it's always good to use lowercase for the name of the package and uppercase for the name of the class if I right click on the package I created and I can just create a new class in there all these steps are here so you can easily follow it if you miss out anything or you can pause the video and uh, rewind it to get your head around it so yeah let's call it location and I'm going to say finish location will have only two uh, two uh, attributes two, two class attributes and that will be these two the location name and the string and the and the, the location ID and the location name again we are going to add getters and setters so right click and say um, source and just say generate getters and setters and select all and just say generate <coughs> right so this is what we have at this point so at this point we set up all the classes we need we've set up everything so if we go back to user now you can see that location is still giving us a uh, error here so to solve this problem we are just going to import the location uh, into this class so if you put your mouse cursor there and see import location so this is the fourth item here import location that will be location dot location the first location here is a package name and this is a class name so everything is well set up everything is good uh let's what why do we have error here in users okay because i've not saved it so go ahead to save and everything is fine no errors we've set up all the classes we need and the next step now 
we are going to now add a service and write the rest uh, endpoint for insert the late update and get. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Try to follow this procedure yourself. If you have any challenges, if you have anything you like to let me know, leave it in the comment box below. Also remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed and also uh, share this video around to your friends if that will be necessary. So we'll see you in the next lesson.